Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We want to give God praise for an opportunity to be alive today. Anywhere you are this day, lift up your voice, give God praise. Thank Him for the gift of life. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the current development in our world, coronavirus. I'd like to talk to you about COVID-19. This is a virus that has affected many in the world today. As at today, 21st of March, over 280,000 people have tested positive to coronavirus. Over 11,600 people have died through this evil all over the world. As of today, we have over 180 nations of the world affected by this evil. What does the Word of God say about this? John chapter 10 verse 10 tells us that the thief come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus in the same scripture says, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Anything that kills, anything that steals, anything that destroys is not of God. Today, I'd like you to know that coronavirus is not of God. This is a demonic force from the pit of hell called a virus. Yes, we'll always call it a name, but it has come to kill. 11,600 people have lost their life. Almost 280,000 people tested positive. This is the devil getting busy all over the world. Killing people. Destroying families. Today the government of nations coming up with different policy of social distancing. People can't go to marketplace. They can't go to cinema. They can't go to church. They can't go to public gathering because of this evil in town. Why is this evil? This evil is against the church. Now you can gather more than 50 people in a church. And Ibu tells us not to forsake the assemblies of ourselves together as a manner of some is. Anything that would take us away from the presence of God is not of God. This is evil. And I like the church all over the world to rise up against this evil. I want you watching me to rise up against this evil. Let's kick coronavirus out of this world system. Let's tell coronavirus go back to the pit of hell, where you came from, where you belong. And from today, we declare no more evil in the land, no more death in the land, in the name of Jesus. Oh, what are we to do? I like to say to you, no matter where you're watching from, the nation of the world where you are, let's obey the government directive. If the government of your nation says stay at home, stay at home. In fact, I learned many schools have been shut down because of this evil. Productivity is most diving because of this evil. People can go to work in some places. A whole city in China shut down. City in America are being shut down right now because of this evil. So if the government say work from home, work from home. If the government asks you to maintain the highest form of hygiene, wash your hand with soap, 20 seconds under the water, do so. Let's obey the government directive. If government says no social gathering, let's obey the government directive because not everybody has the kind of faith we have. Number two, don't be afraid. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. This is the time for you to maintain your confidence in God. Number three, move close to God. This is the time for the church, for the people of God to move close to God. Let family pray together. Let people all over the world lift up their voice. God said in Chronicle, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. This is the time for us to go down on our nails in prayer and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. Coronavirus is going to move somebody closer to God. This is the time for us to pray like never before. Number four, this is the time for you to speak the word. Speak the word of God. Declare to yourself, I have the life of God in me. 
coronavirus has no place in my life, has no place in my destiny, has no place in my nation, has no place in my family. Speak the word. What you say, the power of death and life is in your tongue. Speak death to coronavirus. Speak life to your body. Speak life to your family members. Speak life to the world system. And as you do this, you're going to enjoy the best of life. This day, I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for your family members. And anywhere you are, lift up your voice. Lift up your hand. Pray in tongues with me right now. Speak the word of power. Pray in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for the nations of the world. I pray for the continent of the world. We chase coronavirus out of this world system. Coronavirus, hear ye the word of the Lord. You don't belong here. We chase you out of our cosmos. In the name of Jesus. Go back to hell where you belong. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life to America. I speak life to Nigeria. I speak life to United Kingdom. I speak life to UAE. I speak life to your nation. Oh, type your nation right now in the comment box of this video. I speak life to your nation in the name of Jesus. No more death. No more death in the land. No more evil in the land. In the name of Jesus, our land, they are healed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Also, before I close this podcast, I'd like to tell you about the latest development in our services. Going forward, our services will be transmitted online. Service days and time remains as usual. On Thursday, our services will be by 6 p.m. and on Sunday, 1.30 p.m. But the services will be transmitted from Bethel, our church premises, to the world. We will ask you to please stay at home to watch the services. Ensure you load data on your devices to log on to uh, the ministry, social media uh, handles and watch services online. We're going to be transmitting on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel, so stay tuned to watch the services. We would like to tell all our members to sit back at home and not come to church, except for people who have essential services in the church to help us to broadcast our services to the world. There will be no children church for the time being. There will be no translation church. We want to abide with the government directive that we don't have people more than 50 in the church premises or in any social gathering. So sit in your various home and watch the services online as long as the government directive is in force and watch out on our various social media and do for information announcement development in the church one thing is sure god said i will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it nothing can stop us as a church from preaching the gospel. Whether we preach it where the congregation are present or we preach it where the congregation watch us online, the church will continue to move on. Today, i like to bless you. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The next time I'm going to see you, you're going to have testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay safe and God bless you.